a decent performance by myself. Got a, a decent goal, a good assist, and then a, obviously a, a 3 1 win. So, all round, uh, a good day. Speaking to the manager afterwards, that goal looked straight off the training ground. You've only been in the building about 24 hours, yet you've already been working on something with, uh, with the team. Uh, yeah, but, um, we just done it yesterday quickly. And, uh, I said to the boys yesterday, don't worry about it yesterday, because I'll see yesterday I didn't didn't strike one as clean as that. I said to them, don't worry, it's all about tomorrow. And then obviously one shot, one goal, so I couldn't really complain. What attracted you to the idea of coming to Gillingham this season? Um, obviously, I know the last season I had a, a very good season. Um, and then I sp spoke to the manager and uh, and his staff and Keith uh, about 10 days ago or so. And uh, just the conversation we had wanted to make me feel like I was welcome and I could come and help the club do something special. And is that is that what you want to do? Obviously, this is a chance to, to come and compete, hopefully, at the, the right end of League One. Do you feel that you can really help the club achieve something this season? Yeah, I like to think so. Obviously, after watching the boys today, obviously, we had a bit of a slow start, but obviously, it's first game of the season, so you would expect that. But obviously, the end result is all that matters. Obviously, after winning 3 1, first game of the season, you start, kind of get that spirit that you can keep it going, just like they did last season for the majority of the season. You're still very young, Jay, but as I say, you've already had quite a few clubs. Are you, are you looking for somewhere to, to, to call home still, do you think? Yeah, you, you, you say that, but it's, with football, you don't know who comes in, who's going. Um, just a matter of, obviously, just still enjoying the game and obviously finding somewhere where you fit in and you can play and play at your best. And you, you never know where that's going to be. But obviously, for the meantime, I'm here, so this is my home. Gillingham, we've got some obviously some talented midfield players, some creative players as well as yourself. How much are you looking forward to linking up with the likes of Bradley Dack and Mark Byrne and Cody McDonald? Yeah, it's very good. Obviously, it was that I got a little taste of them today. Um, they found me with the ball, and obviously they also made runs off me. So all around, it's looking like it's going to be like a great attacking force. And your reaction when you scored the goal was to turn immediately to the fans. Uh, you're you're going to very quickly got them on side this afternoon. That, that that's going to help you settle in, I'm sure. Yeah, well, they're here to watch the game. Obviously, we ha we're here to score for the team to win, but obviously we're here to put a show on for them, and that's what we did today. I think sometimes maybe footballers are, are talk about processes too much, but you just said that it's almost putting on a show as well. It's, it's an entertainment business. Are you an entertainer as well as a footballer, do you think? Yeah, I like, to, I like to keep the crowd excited. I like to keep them out of their seats. I like to keep them cheering, and even on a, a grey and gloomy day, you can st also still also be entertained at a football match. So we'll see how it goes for the rest of the season.